Hello lovelies, Kelsey and lovelady here with a, another vlog. I don't even know what day it is anymore um, because it's been a long time since I've updated. Um, that is because I have been in orientation, which I can finally announce what that orientation was for because uh, two days ago the truth went live on the internet. Um, I'm officially a blogger and scribe for the website In the Pantheon. Um, if you've never heard of In the Pantheon, uh, what they are is basically a website of writers who write in the shortest terms Greek mythology fanfiction. Um, it imagines what would happen if the Greek gods came back to the world as it is now and what would their lives be like. Um, and I just joined the project officially as the scribe for Adrestia, the goddess of the revolt. Um, you probably never heard of Adrestia because I know I didn't while I was in school, but um, she is the daughter of Ares and Aphrodite, and she was once the apprentice to Nemesis, and as I said, she's the goddess of the revolt, she's the goddess of the balance between good and evil. She is known as she who cannot be escaped. So, she... If a Greek god was meant to represent, like, the idea of revolution or protest, then it would probably be Adrestia. So, I'm really excited that I can finally announce that I'm a part of that project because I have finally finished orientation and my first post went live a couple of days ago. Um, I will put a link to the post and to the In the Pantheon website in the description below. Please check it out. This is an amazing project and I'm so excited to be a part of it. Now back to the reason why you guys are here. Um, I have not updated in, I want to say like three weeks actually, um, but I've been, I've been busy, for obvious reasons. Um, some good things have happened and some bad things have happened. Um, I'll start with the bad so that we can end on the good, I guess is the best way to do this. As you know, if you've been watching this blog, um, this vlog actually, I have been acting as caregiver to my grandfather. Um, specifically in the last, like, you know, nine months, but especially recently, um, since, you know, April. And, uh, it's amazing what you learn about people in just a couple of months. I have said previously why I felt like I have not been able to just not do this anymore even though I don't want to. Um, I felt like I couldn't because I would be abandoning the family and abandoning my mom who needs me and, you know, just not being, you know, a good kid and a good family member. Recent behaviors of both my grandfather and my mom have gotten me to the point where I'm now, as of this last entire week, I'm basically just waiting for them to give me one more good reason to leave. And I'm anticipating that it happens any day now. I have come to realize that my grandfather is verbally abusive and honestly emotionally manipulative. And it's hard to want to take care of somebody who mistreats you that way. Um, so, like, what do I owe him at this point? He treats me like crap. So, I kind of... If you're not going to treat me with respect, you clearly don't need me. And I will leave if I'm given one more good reason. My mom has been good for the most part. Sorry, I... I have a weird spot on my blanket. My mom has been good for the most part, but one day I just really wanted to talk to my dad 
which I've talked about my dad a little bit on here. He's not, you know, he can definitely make some improvements in his life. Nobody will argue that. And I'm not going to pretend like he's the perfect parent. He's not. But I just needed to talk to somebody who wasn't ingratiated in this situation, who also had the time to give. And it was great. It felt great to talk to my dad. Um, I think he's kind of starting to figure out what our dynamic is, which is great. But my mom was pissed off at me for the rest of the day because I talked to him. Needless to say, they don't get along because of how the divorce went down. And she has said many, many times, I want you to have a relationship with your dad regardless of what my feelings are. I don't want you to regret anything. Yet when I talk to my dad, she gets upset. Now she's acknowledged that she was wrong in this and she has apologized. But it really does not make me want to come over and help her take care of my grandfather when she treats me like that. Because I'm busting my ass here trying to help you take care of your father so that you can protect your ego and he can protect his ego. But I'm, I'm basically... I'm back to that place where I was when I needed to move out. In fact, I'm kind of in a worse place. Because the last major, like, breakdown I had with this situation, I let it all out. I let it all out how I didn't want to be here, I didn't want to do this, I never wanted to do this, and how I'm really fucking tired of the abuse. And that evening, I was honestly... I, I couldn't sleep because I dreaded just waking up and I wanted to just not wake up. I was very suicidal. And the only thing that got me through that was friends who were kind enough to be up very, very late and talk me through what I was feeling so that I could survive another day. I should not have to maintain a job that makes me want to kill myself at the end of the day where I'm abused by the people I'm helping. So I've said the last, the next straw is going to be the last straw because then no one can say she didn't try her best, she didn't give it her good go, she didn't, she, no one can say I just abandoned the family at the get-go. No one can say that. I think my mom understands this, that I'm on the edge of leaving. So she has tried to be a lot more patient and a lot more understanding, a lot more evenly emotioned than she normally is, and she's been trying to pick up more of the work. My grandfather is honestly a wild card. Um, he doesn't like that I'm upset, but he also doesn't understand why I'm upset. He thinks he does nothing wrong and that he's just trying to help and I'm just being overly emotional. And plus he has a tendency to forget these things, whether he actually forgets them or whether it's, you know, convenient forgetting. I don't know. I'm willing to Obviously, he's had subdural hematoma surgery. Obviously, that fucks with your brain and your memory. So I'm sure he's not doing it on purpose, but now that I've realized how emotionally manipulative it, he is, I have to wonder. So if anybody's going to slip up, it's going to be him. Just my my bet on the situation. And I've basically been waiting for them to to slip up for the last week so that I can have an excuse to say, fuck off, I'm out of here. Um, and maybe that's unkind of me, maybe that's unwise of me, maybe that's just not cool of me, but I don't deserve to be treated like that. And any other normal person probably would have left by now. They would have, when they found out that, you know, 
the old man was moving in, they probably would have said, huh, see ya, I'm out of here. So no one can say that I didn't try and I didn't act in kindness. No one can say that. Anybody who tries is going to get proven wrong very fucking quickly. But that's kind of where I am right now. And if, if I'm given a reason to go, I will, I will go. I will, I will not be going back to help take care of my grandfather because I shouldn't have to kill myself for people who don't appreciate me and treat me like crap. If I do have to go, I have a plan. I have people I can go to for help. Obviously, I own this apartment and they can't really fuck around with me too much. But if somebody tries to retaliate by looking for me, I know where to go. I have people I can go to. Um, and even if I just need a vacation from this particular area because I can't travel, believe me, if COVID wasn't happening, I would be getting ready to jump on, I don't know, a plane to New Zealand for two weeks if I had my way. But that's where I am right now. Now in terms of the good stuff, um, I turned 26 last Saturday. And it was the first really good birthday that I've had in a long time. I took the day off. I enjoyed myself. My dad and my stepmom actually came up to see me with their brand new German Shepherd puppy. So I got to spend time with my dad, my stepmom, and I got some doggy cuddles for therapy. We had a wonderful birthday lunch. Um, my stepmom actually gave me this blanket, which I love. It's so soft and comfy, and I love it to death. So, that's a good present. And my diet was completely shot for the weekend because it was just nothing but sweets all day long. My roommate bought me uh, gourmet cupcakes from the bakery in town. My dad and stepmom brought cupcakes up. My mom baked chocolate chip cookies. And the restaurant that I had lunch with my dad and stepmom with gave me a free dessert to celebrate. So, <laughs> it was a lot of sugar for like two or three days. But it was fun. And then in the evening, I went and I had dinner with mom and my grandfather and opened some presents. Um, a lot of them were practical gifts. My, my sister and my brother-in-law, they're very much home improvement people. So they sent me like their favorite tools now that I have my own apartment and will probably need to be doing some fixing around the place. Um, they sent me my own tools and by conjunction I think my mom got me a toolbox. Um, but yeah, it was a good birthday. It was the first good birthday I've had in many, many years. So take the wins when you can. And some other things have started to kind of come together. Um, I've re-signed my lease here at the apartment because at, at this point I think it's safe to say I need it. Um, I need to not be living in that situation with my mother and my grandfather. And I signed up for health insurance on the marketplace. Um, it's not perfect, it's not great coverage, but you know what, it's, it's coverage and no one can say well, you went without coverage for a period of time, so we can't give you full coverage or we can't, you know, cover, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, pre-existing conditions for a year. They can't use that against me because now I have coverage. It's the cheapest coverage I can get. Um, and we're just making it work. Uh, now that my orientation is over, I will probably be able to start doing this on a daily basis again. Unless I sign up for like, I don't know, online classes for something. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what life has been holding for me right now. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been on more. And hopefully one day things can kind of get back to normal around here. And I can start making 
the videos that I really want to make about like YouTube and AuthorTube and book reviews. I just ordered a book that I've been wanting to get for a while. I'm kind of doing some online retail therapy for myself. And yeah, that's just where we are right now. Hopefully things can get back to normal soon. But thank you for watching this video and I hope to join you tomorrow. Bye.